first. All right, we're right on time. That's perfect. All right, Storm Chaser, since you're up top, I'm going to get you to pop first. Here we go. Perfect. And that's a five for Storm Chaser. Five for Storm Chaser. Good start. All right, Cap Girl, can you beat the five? Give her a pop. Perfect. And a one and a one for Cap Girl. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> All right, starting here, that means you're starting us off. You get to pick, are you X's or O's? I'm X's because women always get the O's. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a featured show, but you can bring that back in about an hour and a half. <laughs> We'd love to see that in about two hours. <laughs> well, that's not my intention either. Oh, God, I'm my favorite. <laughs> You're great. <laughs> we love Storm Chaser. Mm -hmm. All right, so X. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. I got a thing for this. Okay. All right, take Start two. Over. All right. <laughs> Would you like to be X's or O's? <laughs> X, please. X for Storm Chaser. All right, an overcap girl. All right, that's what's up. All right, so Chaser, that means that you get to start us off. What category would you like? I'll start with the 90s. 90s. All right, good start. Let's get us a 90s question. All right, here, here is your 90s question. Who recorded Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me with Elton John in 1991? George Michaels. George Michael is correct. It is indeed George Michael. Whew. That was done in Chicago too, the video. Oh, wow. A little extra information. Well, I happen to be in the audience for it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, of course. <laughs> That's good. Being a yeah, I thought that was going to be a hard one. Oh, cool. All right, Cap Girl, over to you. What category would you like? Let's go with 2000s. All right, let's get us a 2000s question. All right, here is your 2000s question. What is Claire and Phil's last name in the sitcom Modern Family? Dumpy? What is? Dunphy is correct. It is indeed Dunphy. Good spelling, you guys. There you go. All right. That was 2000. <laughs> All right. We're going to go back up this term taster. Our categories are going to switch around. Dee -dee -dee. All right, Storm Chaser, what category would you like? 80s, please. 80s, all right. Let's get us an 80s question. All right, here is your 80s question. What was the name of Inspector Gadget's niece? What was the name of Inspector Gadget's niece? I think it is Penny. Penny, all right, final answer? Yes. All right, Penny is correct. It is indeed Penny. Thanks for the confirmation, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm like, yes, Ooh. it's Penny. <laughs> right? Cap girl all right, jump out was... time. <laughs> Speaking of Cap Girl, Cap Girl, what category would you like? I know. <laughs> I just happened to get lucky. Why? Okay, I know, right? You like I need scourge chaser. Right? So many times. I failed five times. I, I, I eventually twice. completed it. I, I did complete oh, did it. You? I failed twice and then passed in in summer school, but like, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> uh, but go I hear that. It's okay. It's okay. You got help from the comments. Unfortunately, Storm Chaser isn't out there to help you. Um, 
Right? Right? All right, here we go. Here is your geography question. What Canadian province contains the Avalon Peninsula? What Canadian province contains the Avalon, the Avalon Peninsula? So much. <laughs> It's like not even. I know these people too well, and I'm like, none of these sound right. <laughs> oh my gosh! I bet Storm Chaser would know. <laughs> right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No. Okay. I want you to venture. I guess after. Okay. What can and everybody's can throwing out a different answer too? <laughs> Half of them aren't even provinces. <laughs> right. You guys are wild. Oh my god, that's a good way to get some provinces in there. I see you. <laughs> All right, the question. <laughs> Jersey, come on, Pika. And TJ keeps changing his, his answer, but too legit. Oh, uh, the comments are wild. Okay, what Canadian province contains the Avalon Peninsula? Let's go with Quebec. All right, Quebec is. Incorrect, incorrect. It was Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Oh, I saw one. There was one Newfoundland. Brit, how'd you go? Oh, I was going to let you have a guess. I forgot. Sorry, Jason. That's all right. <laughs> Is that I what was, you were I thinking? It was one of the, it was one of two. No, it was either that one or Nova Scotia. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Ooh, so that was a tough one. It means three sides of water. Oh, interesting. Look at that. Always with the extra information. It's all about, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of full of it. <laughs> no, I love that. That's why we love you. That's great. Bring the extra information. That's what's up. Let's go. That's why I like about trivia. It's not that I would already know the answer, you know, it's that I'm learning something as well. Although I love knowing the answer. I feel like a hero. All right. Our categories are going to switch around here. Come on, silence. Come on, silence. No, that's... <laughs> Don't put geography right. back there. <laughs> Right. What sports, get, right? Please. What category is sports? All right, let's get sports yeah. going here. All right. Give me the grand no, question no again. The, <laughs> right. All right. Here is your sports question. During the '80s, which two teams had the biggest rivalry in the NBA? During oh, the I was, in the '80s, it would have to be the Celtics and the Lakers. Celtics and the Lakers is that is correct. It's indeed the Boston Celtics and the LA Lakers. Woo! And that is three in a row for you, Storm Chaser. That means you're headed to the, the first bonus round. We might have like seven rounds, but <laughs> but we have no, as many never, <laughs> rounds as there is. I always get the dragon, so. We always got the dragon. Woo, speaking of a dragon, that's where we're headed now. Welcome to the first bonus round. That might be a record for the amount of time for the first bonus round. All right. Don't pick four. Don't pick that. <laughs> that's okay, because we can do as many bonus rounds as we can in the time allotted. Welcome, congratulations, Storm Chaser. You have made it to the first of what is usually two bonus rounds. <laughs> now, if you're just getting here, everyone, Storm Chaser has made it to the bonus round. He's gonna choose numbers, the one through nine, and he's gonna keep choosing numbers until he finds three X's or O's in a row, just like tic-tac-toe, or until a dragon finds him. That's right, here on the app, we want a dragon, but not in the bonus round, because if he finds one, he's out, and we're going back to our category board. So shout out some numbers for Storm Chaser, everyone. And he's going to start choosing. Are, are great. Really fun. <laughs> <laughs> I Don't love the comments. Are wild so distracted. All right. Uh, we'll start with one. <laughs> one. All right. Come on, dragon. First time. Come on, dragon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trying to will the dragon. That's the best one. It's right off the bat. All right. Keep choosing, Storm Chaser. Five. Five. I have to go nine. Gotta go nine. Nine, all right. Did he do it? No, he's still in the game. But no dragon. 
That's yeah. right. Keep choosing. Two. Two. All right. So it could either be an eight or a three. This is where logic hurts me. Um, <laughs> right, it's chance. Because <laughs> Lux is devious. She is. <laughs> I'm trying to keep you all on your toes. I'm trying not to be too uh, predictable. <laughs> three. Three, all right. Right. Huh. <laughs> well, there's three X's, so that can it can either be eight or nothing. So four, seven. Let's we'll get six out of the way first. Okay, six. Yes. Six is it? Oh! Then you're it around. <laughs> that's, the first, that's the first time in three games I've gotten it. First you time in three wow. games. Wow, all right. Way to go. Our dragon was hiding in seven. Lucky number seven had our dragon. Way to go, Storm Chaser. Congratulations never, on never winning the first of what? Sorry. No. <laughs> Way to go, way shot. to go, Storm Chaser, congratulations. Are you excited? <laughs> way to go, Storm Chaser, woo-woo, woo-woo, That's what's up, but don't worry, Cat Girl, because you're going to have another chance um, coming up right after this. I'm going to go reset my boards real quick, and we're going to go into another round. Um, and if you're just getting here, this is Tic Tac Trivia. We're here every Saturday, 10 p.m. Eastern, for this featured show, where my scheduled contestants take turns answering trivia questions. Trying to get three X's rows in a row, just like tic-tac-toe. And if they do, they get a shot at the bonus round. Storm Chaser has managed to evade the dragon in the first bonus round. So we're going to reset the board and head in for our second one. Make sure you guys are favoriting my contestants as well as the top three gifters of my stream. So far, we have Storm Chaser, we have Fred, and we have Javel. Woo! That's what's up. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys are favoriting them. And whoever the top gifter is at the end, we'll get their name up here. Lights, little shout out on IG. Songs will be sung, and stories will be told. And now back to the game. All right, I'm going to reset my board here. And while I do, we would love to hear a little bit about you two. What do you have going on? When do you stream? Do you have anything coming up? What's your favorite color? Anything that you would like to say in this time where I reset the board? Take it away, amazing contestants. Yep, girl, I'll have to have you. OK, um, well, it's my four-year streaming anniversary party on next saturday so i won't be Woo. here but i will be partying it up in my stream whoop, whoop. so come before or after her show and say hello celebrate with me um but don't come during the show it'll just be me and <laughs> people come after but anyways um i'm gonna be on silly lily show i believe on friday and I'm streaming every oh, single great. day in August. Woo, that's what's <laughs> up. Congratulations on the four year stream anniversary. How can you be on TikTok TV? That's a great question. You know, Ooh, Capro's one of my Melody, amazing message hit men, me. So. Yeah, on IG, Capro will get you on. Uh, Emoji J is also an admin, and Velma and Beard Reader. So if you guys want to be on the show, you can let one of them know for sure. And you can be right here on a Saturday night. All right, sorry, Capro. Anything else from you there? No. Take it away, Storm. Thanks very <laughs> much. Appreciate it. Um, Melody, I just had a uh, match uh, with uh, Melody as one of the contestants on uh, PYT's TV thing. That was a lot of fun. Uh, tomorrow I'm doing um, Jormanji with uh, Jordaddy. That's going to be interesting. Oh, cool. Uh, and I'm actually finally going to start streaming on my own tentatively August 21st 
the show is going to be called Weather or Not. And it's going to be weather and music trivia and all kinds of different stuff. Tentative time is going to be 7 o'clock Eastern time, but that may change depending on I don't want to cover other people that I really like. So I'll, I'll, I'll final that, finalize that out in the next week or so. Cool. I love that. How exciting. Everyone's favorite storm chaser. Go check out his inaugural stream. That's so exciting. Woo! Whether or not, I love that. <laughs> yeah, I, I stole that from a, a, an old roommate of mine. And that's he said fantastic. I could use it, so. Yay! I'm so excited. Oh, that's so exciting. Yay, storm chaser. I'm so excited. I didn't finish my board. All right. Anything else that you guys would like to add? I think that's it. Oh, and I love being a contestant on any shows. That if anyone's a part of a show and they need a contestant, I'm game. I'm having a blast. So. Ooh. Yay. Pun intended. Yes. <laughs> there you go. You heard him, folks. You need a contestant, then he's here. We love that too. We love, and uh, speaking of contestants, we love when people also can come in at the last minute, like Cap Girl. Thank you so much for uh, filling in today, Cap Girl. Um, that well, we really substituted cool. one one dream woman for another. That's okay. No, oh. <laughs> that's sweet. Chivalry is not dead. It's so sweet. He's sweet and smart. What? Look out, ladies! Look out! And he's gonna start streaming. Yeah. <laughs> the whole package. <laughs> woo, woo. woo! That's great. That's great. Thank you. All right, and now back to the show. Oh, I didn't reset this board either. Okay, I forgot about this one. That's okay. I'll do it quickly after. All right, and if you guys are just getting here, this is Tic Tac Trivia. We just heard from our contestants uh, a little bit about them and what they have going on in their streams. So we're about to dive back into our second round here. All right, Capriel, since uh, Storm Chaser made it to the bonus round last time, you get to go first here. What category would you like? Ooh, 2000s, please. Ooh, all right. There we go. Bonus round ready. All right, let's get a 2000s question here. All right. What city is the setting for Grey's Anatomy? What city is the setting for Grey's Anatomy? Seattle. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Seattle is. Correct. It is in Seattle. Way to go. Grey's fan are... I wouldn't have known that one. Oh, All right. Oh, for cat girl. All right. Storm Chaser, over to you. What category would you like? Um, let's see. 80s, please. 80s. All right. Let's get us an 80s question. All right. All right. Here is your. 80s question. What Quebecois singer won the Eurovision Song Contest in Dublin, Ireland in 1988? What Quebecois singer won the Eurovision Song Contest in Dublin, Ireland in 1988? 88, it's got to be Celine Dion. Celine Dion is. Correct. I even brought out the harder cards. Okay. <laughs> Celine Dion is the correct. All right. Woo. All right. Let's go. Way to go, Storm Chaser. Woo. Woo. I saw LaFleur. <laughs> he did get out of the press. All right. Capcar, when you go back yeah. over to your categories, you're going to switch around here. All right. Um, what category geography. would you like, Cocker? Yeah. Oh, it's it's off it's the gone. board. Yeah. yeah, that's it fell off. It fell what? off the map. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, category 90s. would you like? Nineties. All right. Let's get us a nineties question. All right. Here is your nineties 
question. Who played Dr. Sloan's assistant, Dr. Jack Stewart, on Diagnosis Murder? Who played Dr. Sloan's assistant, Dr. Jack Stewart, on Diagnosis Murder? Wow. <laughs> These answers. I never even watched that show. Like, I have no idea what the show even was. No, I don't know this one either, actually. It's 90s? Yeah, hey, huh. I thought I was surprised. Who played Dr. Stone's assistant, Dr. Jack Stewart, on Diagnosis Murder? Um. <laughs> These answers, though, right? Just say John. Um. Let's go with, I don't know Melody, so let's go with Melody's answer. Okay. Which is? Uh, Barry Van Dyke. Yep, his okay. son. Okay, Barry, Barry Van Dyke is the... incorrect, incorrect. Oh, it is what? Scott. Yeah, it was Scott Baio. Oh, oh it was wow. Scott Baio. Oh. <laughs> oh. I thought Melody was right on that one because it was <laughs> Van Dyke was the guy. <laughs> right, Rose is the answer. Wild. Ooh, wow. good try. All right. Ooh, that was a tough one, you guys. Ooh. All right, good try, Captain. Good try. You don't All right, start chasing it with anything good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, start chaser. Over to you. Oh, no, no, oh you put the right answers. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are welcome to uh, help the contestants. Feel free to um, to help or hinder them or have fun. Um, you get to be a little bit like their multiple choice um, so they can look to you uh, for the answer. So feel free, yeah. Um, and what was I gonna say? Storm Chaser over to you. I feel like that's how, yes. What category would you like? Uh, let's see. What's the one at the bottom right? I can't see you're in the way. <laughs> Oh, sorry. This oh. which what category would you like? <laughs> uh, le left. I want the left one. <laughs> yeah. TV and movies. No, let's do uh, 80s, please. 80s. Okay. Oh, you're left. My right. <laughs> Never left. mind. <laughs> 80s it is. All right. As good as an 80s the question. <laughs> All right. 80s. Okay. No, 80s are here. Okay. Here is your 80s question. All right. What series inspired action figures, action figures named Mechanic and Mossman? What series inspired action figures named Mechanic and Mossman? Oh, man. I, I thought Transformers, uh, but now that I see He-Man, I'm confused. Hmm. <laughs> the question is, what series inspired action figures named Mechanic and Moss Man? No, it, it, it's He-Man. He-Man, final answer? Yes. He-Man is correct. It is indeed He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. All right, good job. Whew. All right, that was easy. All right, cat girl, over your categories are gonna switch around here. Geography, come on, geography. All right, cat girl, <laughs> what category would you like? Let's go with TV and movies. All right, TV and movies for the block here. Let's go. All right. Here is your, I can ask that one. Here is your TV and movies question. What kind of supernatural being is Suki, or Suki, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Anna Paquin on True Blood? What kind of supernatural being is Suki, or Suki? I never watched it. Okay, Anna Paquin on True Blood. 
What kind I of supernatural thing? Her. I watched it, but it was like in 2000. Um, oh, okay. She was like, she wasn't a vamp. I, I'm going to guess fairy. Fairy? Okay. And fairy is. Correct. Yeah. Good thing you didn't guess fairy. That is I knew correct. she wasn't turned, even though she loved her vampire. Okay, okay. But oh, right on. Way to go. Way to go for the help audience. Woo! All right, and that's the block there. The game continues. All right, Star Chaser, over to you. What category would you like? 2000s. 2000s. All right, let's get a 2000 question for the block. All right. Here is your 2000s question. What country won a record-setting fifth FIFA World Cup in 2002. What country won a record setting fifth FIFA World Cup in 2002? It's either Brazil or Argentina, I think. Um, Brazil. Brazil, final answer. All right. Brazil is correct. It is indeed Brazil. Cool. Woo. The game is afoot. The game is afoot. All right. Our categories are going to switch around here. Come on, geography. <laughs> Put it right in the middle. No, didn't do it. <laughs> I think we need All to right. change geography and make music a category. Yeah, I want to make music a category again. Um, yeah, I do plan to do that. I have lots of music questions because the 70 or the 80s, 90s, 2000s have music questions. So I think that's a great idea. And I still love geography, though. I think we should keep it in the rotation. All right, Cap Girl, we're going to go over to you. But if you're just getting here, this is Tic Tac Trivia. We're here every Saturday, 10 p.m. Eastern, for this featured show, where my scheduled contestants take turns answering trivia questions. Trying to get three X's rows in a row, just like Tic Tac Toe. And if they do, they get a shot at the bonus round. We've had one bonus round already, where Stern Chaser managed to evade the dragon. So we're on our way to our second bonus round right now. Make sure you guys are favoriting my amazing contestants, as well as the top three gifters of the show. We have Storm Chaser, Fred, and Jarrell so far. Yay, everyone make sure you favorite them. Whoever the top gifter is at the end, we'll get their name up here in the light. A little shout on IG. Songs will be sung and stories will be told. The amazing Storm Chaser was our swing king last day and is our amazing contestant today. So thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, we're here every Saturday. 10 p.m. Eastern. If you want to be on the show, you can just you can let us know on IG. Uh, Cap Girl is one of my amazing admins, as well as Emoji J, Velma, and Newly Beard Reader. So you can let them know if you guys want to hang out with us right here on Saturday night. And if you love this so much, you can't get enough. You guys can come on back um, about an hour and a half after the show. We do audience edition, um, so you guys get to play from the comments um, and a little Lux after dark. So you can come join us with that with your drinks and your snacks if you like. All right. And now over to you, Cap Girl. What category would you like? Okay. I would like TV and movies. TV and movies. All right. Let's get us a TV and movies question. <clears throat> All right. Here is your TV and movies question. Guys, I, I'm not going to win anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the seal. You don't want to go for the seal. You're good for TV and movies. All right. Yeah, I'm good with TV and movies. Okay. Okay. You you still have a chance. You're the audience fun. here. You're... <laughs> I don't want to actually try and beat him. I just want to have fun. Wow. That's you know, if you beat him, then you go to a bonus round, then you both win, and then we go to final or sudden death. So it's perfect. So. <laughs> But I'm okay with answering questions I might have an actual answer to. Right? Like... <laughs> We're going to give you TV and movies. You asked for it. Here is your TV and movies question. Cle Cleto and the Cletones is the house band 
for whose ABC late night talk show? Cleto and the Cletones, if I'm saying that correctly, is the house band for which ABC late night talk show? Yeah, let's, let's go with Kimmel. All right. Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel is. Correct, it is indeed Jimmy Kimmel. Way to go. Thanks, Pika. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. All right, we got an O for TV and movies. All right, Storm Chaser, over to you. What category would you like? I guess I'm stuck with geography now. Geography. All right, let's get you a geography question. All right, here is your geography Not a Canadian question. province, please. <laughs> All we get are those. Right? There are so many of them. I can't believe the amount of Canadian questions there are. It's... Um, it's Trivial Pursuit Genius 2 edition. Isn't that wild? Oh. I'm really Because we buy all our stuff in Canada. <laughs> I know. It's, it's an American-made game, right? So I'm not used to being on the camera during the show. I'm used to, like, answering everybody's questions <laughs> in the chat. So I'm like, yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> no, no worries. Once in a while, we can engage with the, the people. I don't <laughs> You are there for sorry. You. I apologize. You get to read the comments though because they're your uh, <laughs> they're your multiple choice. So you get to you get to engage. That's okay. All right. Here's your geography question, Storm Chaser. What country? What country lies at the other end of the Mont Cenis tunnel in France? From France. Sorry. What country lies at the other end of the Mont Cenis tunnel from France? Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo. That's right. What country lies at the other end of the Mont Cenis tunnel from France? But it's spelled C E N I S. Well, the obvious one, and they're putting it in the comments, would be England because of the English Channel. I just don't know the name of the tunnel. Um, it could also be France and Spain through the mountains, but I've never heard of that. So let's do England. England, all right. England is incorrect. Incorrect. It is Italy. Italy is what we were looking for. I figured something like that. Okay. Ah, uh, Italy. Oh, we can. <laughs> good try. Good try, Storm Chaser. Ooh, all right. That's what's up. We're going to get our two bonus rounds in. That's perfect. That's what's up. I love it. It's timed perfectly. All right. Over to you, Cap Girl. Our categories are going to switch around. Oh, you put the steel in a tough spot. Oh, no, that doesn't matter. It's just still in. Oh, right, I did, because you can't take that spot. Ooh, I'm, it's computer generated. I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> All right, cap girl, what category would you like? Let's go with 80s. 80s. All right. Let's get the 80s. Right, okay. All right, here is your 80s question. What famous horror author started his Dark Tower series in 1982? What famous horror author started his Dark Tower series in 1982? Stephen King? Stephen King is correct. It is indeed Stephen King. And that means that's three O's in a row for you. You're headed to the bonus round. How exciting. <laughs> Perfect. All right, welcome back to the bonus round. But don't worry, Storm Chaser, because if the if she finds a wait, <clears throat> if the dragon finds her, then you are our big winner. But if she manages to evade the dragon, then we will be going to sudden death. So stay tuned right to the end to see what happens, everybody. Welcome to the bonus round, Cap Girl. Congratulations on making it to the second bonus round. Here 
you're going to choose numbers one through nine, and you're going to keep choosing numbers until you find three X's rows in a row, just like Tic Tac Go, or until you find the dragon. Here on the app, we want a dragon, but not in the bonus round, because if you find one, Storm Chaser is our big winner today. Like I said, if you manage to evade the dragon, then we will be going to sudden death. <laughs> All right, show us some numbers for Cab Girl, you guys. Cab Girl, start choosing until you find three X's rows in a row, or until the dragon finds you. Let's go with two. Two, all right. All right, keep choosing. Don't pick seven, five is the dragon. Let's go with seven. Seven, all right, lucky number seven. Two in a row, could it be? <laughs> I have been known to do that. <laughs> All right. Whew. I'm just picking Keep my going. kids' ages, so I'm like, oh, go cute. with one. <laughs> one. All right. I can't pick 26 and 18. And four. Ooh. And four. Okay. Okay. Now I need some help because those are all my kids' ages up there. <laughs> uh, let's go with three. Three, all right. Nice. Oh. Interesting. Ooh, thought she had it. All right. Either, Still in the game. <laughs> it's either five or, oh, I know it. <laughs> I think what I should pick would five. Let's go with five. Nine. <laughs> five. And you got it. Three O's in a row. Where was our dragon hiding? In number nine. Congratulations. And that means we're going to put in that. Woo! Woo! All right, because we never want to leave here on a tie. That's right. Storm Chaser has won one of the bonus rounds. Cab Girl has won the other bonus round. So that means we are going to sudden death. Now I'm going to quickly reset the board. And now you have been trying to evade the dragon this whole game. Now you want to try and find the dragon. That's right. The first one to find the dragon will be our big winner here today. We don't ever want to leave with a tie. So I'm just going to reset our board real quickly. And I'm going to get my popper out to see who goes first. We're going to discover who our big winner is. So stay tuned till the end, everyone, to see who that will be. All right. Thank you, Melody. Here. And welcome to Sudden Death. All right, the first one to find the dragon will be our big winner here today of Tic Tac Trivia. Thank you. Storm, I'm going to get you to pop first here to see who goes first. Give it a pop. All right, we got a five for Storm Chaser. All right, Cat Girl, give her a go. And a two and a two. That means Storm Chaser, you're starting us off here. Shout out some numbers for them, you guys. Where do you think that dragon is hiding? Storm Chaser, what number would you like? Six. Six. All right. Seven. All right. Seven. Seven. All right, Storm Chaser, over to you. Nine. Nine. All right. What do you think, Capra? What do you guys think the dragon? Two. Two. All right. Storm chase. Four. Four. 
Thor. There it is. That's the dragon. CJ. CJ called it. I give him credit for that. Video. CJ called it. Oh. Turn this over so you can see that there's not more than one dragon. Congratulations, Yay! Storm Chaser. <laughs> You're our big winner here today. Here is your for 10 money. And yeah. somewhere around here, there's a tiny trophy that you don't actually go oh, here. It is. There you go. So oh, here's your tiny trophy you don't actually get to take home. Round of applause for Storm Chaser, everybody. Guys, I'm going to our house Peace. in Peace. two weeks. I might just bring it home with me. <laughs> the cop. Oh, nice. <laughs> Gotta win it. <laughs> speech, speech, big words from our words from our big words. Big words. You can use any word, just appropriate words from our winner, Storm Chaser, here today. Congratulations, Storm Chaser. Thank you so much. It was a lot of fun as always. I love doing this, so let's just keep this going. I'll do this for as long as I'm alive. Cap Girl, thank Yay. you for stepping in. It was awesome to, to play against you. Lots of pleasure as always. Thank you so much, Storm Chaser. Yay, everyone, make sure you favorite Storm Chaser too. He's gonna do, uh, he's gonna start streaming. That's so exciting. So you can, uh, you can stay tuned for his first stream. August I'll need an admin too at some point. Ooh, how exciting. <laughs> yeah, I hope, yeah, that's what's up. Dream big, let's go. That's exciting for, uh, for you to be inspired to do that. Yay, round of applause for Storm Chaser, everybody. Any words? Congratulations, Capra, on being amazing today. Thank you for jumping in uh, to play here. Any words from yourself today here? I had a great time. Thanks for having me. I'll fill in any time I need to. I enjoy being an admin, so thank you. Um, and yeah, you guys are awesome. That's what's up. You're awesome. And thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Round Way of applause for Capra. Come back in an hour and a half, Terrell. Yes, come back in an hour and a half. I keep putting my comments in here. Come back in an hour and a half if you thought this was fun. Right? That's right. If you're just getting here, this is the end of Tic Tac Trivia. Storm Chasers are big winner here today, so make sure you guys are favoriting him and Cap Girl as well, um, who didn't win today, but she's still amazing and is my fantastic admin, so she's here just about every week in just a minute i'm going to put a timer on the clock and we're going to see who our stream king or queen is whoever the top gifter is uh at the end of the timer will get their name up here in lights a little shout on ig songs will be sung and stories will be told. storm chaser is in the top top spot there and then fred and we have jarell as well so thank you so much make sure you guys are favoriting them and we are here every Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern for this featured show where my scheduled contestants take turns answering trivia questions, trying to get three X's rows in a row, just like tic-tac-toe. And if they do, they get a shot at the bonus round. We had two bonus rounds today, and we did end in a tie. Therefore, we went to sudden death, and Storm Chaser walked out a winner here today. Thank you so much. I feel like we're all walking out as winners here today after this fantastic show. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put a minute onto the clock here and whoever the top gifter is at the end will be our stream king or queen. Bye Cap Girl, thank you so much for joining me. Everyone's favorite Cap Girl, a round of applause for her. And oh, where's our minute here? There we go. Okay, and then after this minute, um, we will declare the stream king or queen. Uh, if it's Storm Chaser, I don't have to change my sign, so that's super fun. <laughs> I'm good I love that you're the best. Reason. I and love that. Someone just jumps up and snipes. Right? Rain Supreme, Storm Chaser. Yeah. Is it dead? Okay, I'm just about done. It's time for bed, okay? We'll be right out. I'm just saying bye to everyone. Okay. All right, we got 16 seconds on the clock. Uh, whoever the stream king or queen, I mean, the top gifter is, will be our stream king or queen. Your name up here in lights. A little shout out on IG. Will anyone snipe the storm chaser or will I get to keep the sign the same? Yes. And the, the sign remains the same. <laughs> broken heart. The sign remains the same. Woo! Congratulations, Thanks, Storm Chaser.
Oh, thank you. You're wonderful. Thanks for being here. Round of applause for Storm Chaser, Stream King, and winner of Tic Tac Trivia today. And that was Tic Tac Trivia with your host, Lux. That's me. See you next week. And scene. Yeah, that was a good one. That was so perfectly timed. I'm so stoked right now. Also, I can't believe I always start here like ready to have a nap and I end ready to not have a nap. <laughs> no one is allowed to eat those popsicles. Thank you, Fred. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. Yay, was it fun? Yay. You got close to winning too. That was perfect. I love when it's time like that, like two bonus rounds and then we go, it gets like right to the end. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I was hoping you'd read that <laughs> where you left <laughs> the popsicle. You guys are wild. Oh my God, Jarrell with the Eiffel Tower. This is a featured show, Jarrell. <laughs> Come back in an hour and a half with that. <laughs> Why did you give me that? I was trying not to die. No, I know. Hello. Why did you? And you heard him crying. Oh, why did you 